Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be working on a really simple but important project out here in the greenhouse. So I would like to show you how I seal terracotta saucers so that we don't get any water damage below them. This is a project that we made a video about several years ago now, about probably three or four years ago. We'll put a link down below. Uh, I tried out five different types of sealer on terracotta saucers to see which type of sealer worked the best. And four out of five of them worked awesome. Actually, all five of them worked, but one of them did a kind of a weird white film on the inside. So I figured out which one I liked the best, and that was really fun to know, uh, because going forward, when you find some type of terracotta, that does not come glazed or sealed on the inside, you can do it yourself and it's actually a lot cheaper. For example, these two are just normal terracotta saucers. This is one that I bought glazed and you can see the glaze, I think, I hope right there, you see how it's shiny? That one uh, has been sealed so that water does not make it down below. So I have clearly used this saucer, see all that hard water damage on the inside, but nothing has made it down below and terracotta is awesome as a planter. You know, it's porous, it allows oxygen in and out, uh, so it keeps the root systems really happy, and it's pretty, you know, and it's just, it's the preferred pot of a lot of, of people, I think. But the saucers, because it's porous, if you, you know, give your plant a little bit too much water and you don't have a glazed saucer, kind of like this one right here, that water can soak through. If it's sitting there in the saucer for any amount of time, it will soak through and it can cause rings and damage on whatever you have it sitting on, which sometimes you have them sitting inside on top of like a, a really nice table or something and you wanna protect that furniture. So yeah, the glazed one, no damage. This is just a straight up normal one, has been clearly used. And you can see where the water has come through and created just a mess. Ugh. And this right here is the one that I decided was my favorite when I did that project initially because it gave me the most consistent and uniform looking results and it gave me that gloss which sets it apart from my other saucers so when I grab one I know right away that okay that's glazed I'll be safe to put this anywhere. A couple of the other ones that I did I had like a can of flex seal um, there was a couple other cans of things anyway uh, a couple of them were very matte finish and you could almost not tell that I had put anything in them and while they held the water in um, I couldn't tell visually and something about like seeing it visually gives me more confidence that's why I landed on this one right here and I don't know how much this costs because I bought this this is the original can but you can imagine like how far that will take you how long you can use this to seal terracotta saucers uh, so I think it's a lot cheaper in the long run so these are the little pots do you remember when I bought uh, some of these pots for the hostess gifts right before Christmas well, I had them go ahead and order me a few more. So I have this size right here, and then I did order this size. All the saucers came in broken though, so they had to reorder those. So we'll uh, seal those when we get them in, but I just wanted to show you. They're such pretty pots. I love how aged they look. They immediately have character. Um, and I don't even know, what does that say on the side? It says Potter. Oh, can you tell? So you guys, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna line up all the saucers right here. We're gonna get them all painted with the clear gloss paint. And then I might thin out our radishes. And that's gonna do it for this afternoon's project. We had some other things going on this morning and then we're supposed to start getting some weather tonight. Um, so I'm going to go around and start like checking the chicken coop and making sure everything is buttoned up for that. Okay, so let's open up this can. I forgot to bring a screwdriver. Which one will work better? Looks the same as it did several years ago. You can see how, <laughs> how much I've gone through. Okay, let's do one together kind of slowly. Last time I taped off the whole rim. I'm not gonna be so fussy about it this time. I just want there to be a nice thick uniform layer. And I wanna go up the sides. I put it on pretty thick, so it's gonna take a little while to dry. But that's what it looks like. One down, 29 to go.
right, got them all done. So they just need to sit in here and dry for a little while. And I went ahead and did the other little saucer that I just showed you that had the damage below. So now it'll all be sealed, ready to go. It kind of blows my mind that you can get terracotta saucers both glazed and unglazed because when you buy a saucer, it's to catch water to protect your surface. And if it's going to soak through your saucer and wreck your surface, then what's the point? I mean, unless you're super careful when you're watering and it's there just to catch the tiny little bit of excess, which, you know, we hope that we always water that way, but that's not always the case. So anyway, the glaze saucers are just so nice. I just remembered that I picked up a pile of gray clay saucers a week or two ago. So I'm gonna go grab that pile and I'm gonna get those all sealed up too. May as well. Here they are. Okay, these are gonna all have to scoot. Let's get these done. Got them all done. The first, I think this is one of the first ones I did. It's already all dry. And the thing I love about it is it's not sticky at all. And I've noticed with the other saucers that I've used this paint on, uh, there has been no stickiness. You know, if water leaks out and sits in the saucer for a while, it doesn't get sticky. It's just like these are sealed. You can do more than one coat if you want to. Typically, I only do one coat, and that's why I go in pretty thick with it, but it's fast to dry. Although, I'm gonna let all of these sit overnight in here and just cure a little bit before I start using them. But I kind of love when I get a big batch of saucers, usually I buy them glazed if I can when it comes to terracotta anyway uh, but if I get any specialty saucers like these gray ones right here that go really well under my concrete pots um, since I don't get saucers with the concrete pots it's just nice to get them all glazed before I start using them and then I don't have to worry about where I'm setting them and it was actually very easy to do it this way with the brush rather than taping and doing a spray can because I was able just to drag that brush right up to the top and I don't think I got any on any of the lips I mean, it's not like perfection if you were to look really close, but I mean, you can't really tell. She looks pretty good. So again, this is what it is. It also says, well, it says fast drying, non-yellowing and UV resistant. So there you go. Oh, you saw how much I started off with today. Let me open this back up so you can see how much I used. How many saucers do we do? 30, one, two, three, four, five. 44 saucers. What is it down like an inch and a half? I still have a good portion of that can left. And I usually try to keep a little stash of cheap paint brushes that I can just toss when I'm done with projects like this. Then you don't even have to worry about cleanup, uh, but that's totally up to you. So now I would like to get these radishes thinned and then I think we're gonna call it for the day. And they're looking so good. What day did we plant these? You know, it's a good thing we post videos because I would remember nothing if I couldn't look back. It's like my online journal. December the 20th. So that was 21 days ago. And what I wanna do is just pull out, especially the ones along the edge. Oh, you can actually see the little itty bitty baby radish there. Like where the red turns into the green. These are French breakfast. Way more interested in the snow than my radishes. You guys. <laughs> Enjoy your snow. That looks way better. Now they can form up a little bit easier. They won't have to fight for room, airflow, light. 
they should be happy. And this is really exciting to me. It's amazing how easy, I mean, each saucer took me what, like 30 seconds to put the sealer on and it's gonna solve so many problems. I just love that. Now it does kind of go on a little bit, um, you can see where it's thicker. It's a little bit milky, but it dries clear. So I got a little bit thick on these, which is not a big deal. It'll just take them a little bit longer to dry. And you guys, that is gonna do it for today's project. Super simple, but it's gonna pay off big time going forward, just not having to worry about protecting our surfaces. We can just grab a saucer and go with it. And I know I've shown this before, but it's been so long. I felt like, well, I've got these huge stacks of saucers. I need to get it done. May as well show you guys, for those of you who didn't see our video however many years ago, I know a lot of you guys are new since then. So I thought I would just uh, show you the process and show you how you can make your saucers work better for you. So we will link this down below so you can check it out. We just picked it up at Home Depot. I think you can probably pick it up wherever you pick up paint, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.